Hey everybody, welcome to High Lore Gaming. My name is Joseph and I'm joined by my wife, Amber. Today we're going to be going over part three of our walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're going to glide away from the Great Plateau, head into West Nekluda, activating the tower and solving the shrines on the way, and get our first horse. So we started, uh, or we ended... Part two. Yes, we ended part two at the in the Temple of Time. We had just finished talking to the old man who turned out to be uh, the king of Hyrule. He gave us the paraglider, and we are going to experiment with that next. So he just left, and there was this chest over here with a soldier's bow. A bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but it will still burn if it touches fire. Hmm. And let me see. I have a rusty sword, Korok leaf axe, hammer, a boko club, a traveler's claymore. Let's hold on to the boko club for now. Now, I know about something that is uh, a little bit of a secret find at the top of our temple. So we're going to climb to the very tippy top. Nice. The view is going to be amazing from up there, too. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, with the sunset and everything. <laughs> Whenever climbing, we do have to watch the stamina wheel, <laughs> like I learned. <sighs> yep. I spy with my big eyes <laughs> what I suppose to be a Korok. All the birds again. Oh, that's cool. They're heading to the volcano. <laughs> Look at oh, that. that's so cool. Oh, that's so neat. Examine. Haha, yeah. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> bye bye. They they don't have a whole lot to say. But they're happy creatures. And this is as high as you can get on the plateau. We hadn't really checked it out, but yeah, this is where we've been in the last few episodes. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Yeah. One we of covered things, most of all of this territory. One of the things I really love about this game is the beautiful scenery. Yeah. It is so relaxing and, oh, I just love it. Now, what I want to do before we head off of the plateau for very far is get a good, a good night's rest. I don't like fighting the monsters, the overnight monsters, all the skeletal monsters, if I can help it. So I would like to get a good night's sleep before that happens. Where should so we should go? So should we climb down, or should we so just paraglide I'm just, off I'm, of here? Yeah, we got a paraglide. I'm thinking I'll head over to where we met the old man. Okay. And... Or there's a campfire. We could go to that campfire. Yeah. Sure. And we're paragliding, folks. <laughs> oh, there's bokos. Oh, it's a Let's take enemy their enemy camp. Yeah, we're gonna take their dinner. Oh, you know what? Hit him. Sometimes when you come to these camps at night, too, they're uh, asleep, and it can be kind of funny to see them all laying around. Oh, he got me. Um, and that that swing almost made him go off balance. Did you see that? It does. <laughs> yeah. This is my camp. I claim it. <laughs> you can't have it. Ah, there was seared a stake in the barrel. Snake. That was a good find. I wanted to say seared snake, but that, did, that was not right. <laughs> That's a very different move. Seared steak. It's harder to say than It's a sneering seared snake. Snake. Another one. And we can just sit here. Actually, I want to grab those mushrooms first. And anytime I see the seared steak or cooking over the fire like that, it makes me hungry for steak. <laughs> <laughs> it like, looks, oh, so it looks so good. Oh, looks so good. I know. All right. 
Now on the map you can see that we have a blinking yellow marker. That is from our assigned goals in our mission log. So we didn't create it. That was based on what the old king wants us to do. So we're going to follow the old king's orders. There is a Korok in the water. Do we want to... No, we got that one. We did? Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we've been in there. Hey, Korok. I, I couldn't remember. Yeah, he's still there. Just chilling. <laughs> okay. Nothing there? Okay. Ooh. It's cool to see that broken road. Like, you can tell where yeah, the, there's and a this... cobblestone ro road up to this uh, settlement area. Yeah, so behind us is where we all started at the R Shrine of Resurrection. Hmm. Morning light over oh, our so tower. Beautiful. Got some apples on the apple tree. I'll grab a couple. We did miss a liz lizard that was just right we there. Did? Oh, yeah. Bummer. The lizards move really quickly, so. What can you do? It's hard to get them. I think we got all of the monsters right in this area. Mm -hmm. I think so. So, we mentioned earlier how this place over here was kind of mysterious. It still is. But we do technically know what this used to be. This was the way in and out of the Great Plateau. Oh. So you'd go down here, there used to be a path, and then you'd go up the path if you were getting onto the Great Plateau. Oh, yep. that makes sense. Did I get them? Well, I got one of them. Saw all the fish and I figured we're gonna need them. Yep. For food. Did I just blow up the fish I had previously killed and then killed I, another I one? I think it's off to the right, but I could be wrong. I don't see it anymore. <laughs> and now it's raining. <gasps> the one hard thing about the rain in this game is that you're not able to climb walls <laughs> or climb really anything because the rain makes it too slick. Um, you can walk up steep inclines, but as soon as you have to climb, it'll make you slip down. And that was a very quick in and out drizzle. It didn't yeah. really stick around long. That was good for our sake. That's nice. So that's the volcano in front of us. And we don't want to head that way just yet. We want to head towards mountains over there. Let's see if we can get a look. <laughs> Oh, so this there is like the go. gateway to the plateau right here. Yeah, so this would have been the exterior wall on this side and the entrance to the Great Plateau. And we're going to make our way through the dueling peaks as the king asked us. So it looks like there was a town right outside of the gate here. Gate post town ruins. When you land, you should turn around and look at the gate post. Oh, wow. you can even see the dirt coming out that plugged it up. Yeah. Wait, I hear a monster. Oh, it looks like we got p other people. Oh, they're fighting something. Yeah, these are Hylians. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is called a flurry rush. <laughs> Got him. And are they grateful? <laughs> Mina, you're a girl. You have to. Oh read lines. yes, I have to do the girl voice. If you think I was in the slightest danger, you need to have your eyes checked. But I like your style. Here you go. <laughs> At least she's nice about it. Oh, sneaky meat pie. Oh, that could come in handy. Nice, so it would give us a little extra bit of stealth. So if we are trying to sneak around, it's harder for the monsters to spot us. And it gives us four hearts. We don't even have four hearts. That's awesome. Humph! I'll get them next time for sure. 
<laughs> Alright, Mina. Who do we got here? Her pal? Another fellow traveler? Oh, he's looking at the ground. Think highly of that Mina is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Miles. Alright, Miles. <laughs> Take it easy, man. I just woke up, been asleep for a hundred years, <laughs> and saved your skin. You can thank me later. I have all the time in the world. Oh, I don't want to bother with choo-choos, really. Do I? Do I? Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> One rusty sword for another. Oh, there's a deer off to your right. There is? Oh dear. Oh, come on, choo-choo, give me a break. Oh, you got it! Awesome! We need the meat. We're gonna get hungry later. Raw prime meat. Actually, that kind of meat is really good yeah. to resale. And we could really use the rupees. The rupees are the money in this uh, world of Hylia. Hi Hylia? Hyrule. <laughs> yes. In the lens of Hylia. No. Oh, is that What's a it? bug? Oh, it's a restless cricket. I'm restless. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We can be restless together. <laughs> oh, 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 the birds. Go. Oh. Is that a, looks like a dragonfly? Dragonfly? It is. Oh, it disappeared. It's kind of hard to see, though. Hmm. Okay, it seems like they're all gone. Uh, what's this over here? It's like a loco. Oh, no. Yeah, oh. Oh, my word. That is, uh, two of them. So the, this is another kind of monster we have not encountered before, everybody. And we don't want to. <laughs> not yet. They're, a bit, they're they're kind of tough, and we don't quite Ooh. have the... Oh, he's eating something. <laughs> huh. So we'll deal with him later. Yes, we will come across plenty of those in our travels. I just wanted to spy on them. Oh, here's another one. Hello. Hmm. We're looking for a shrine that I think is up here somewhere. It shouldn't be quite this close. Okay. We can't look at our map yet because we don't have the... Yeah, if I try, we just see a whole lot of nothing. So is it more down here? All right, here we go. We have things to do, people to meet. King's orders. <laughs> but we can get meat along the way. Good shot. <laughs> okay, there's a bridge. We'll... We'll take the bridge, so we'll head that way. Ah, oh, I didn't want to disturb the birds if I could help it. Oh, they're gone. There is a mysterious hole down in there. Yeah, I saw that. Let right me push the stone into it. Perfect. <laughs> oh, it's another quark. Those are going to be useful. Not yet. But they will be. And I spy the shrine. I don't know if we said before, I probably did, but underneath the rocks there's often gems or... Oh, you know what? I think there's another core rock right here to the right. Because really? of all the rocks. Oh! See? If I think if you throw it into that. Huh. Let me see if I can help us with... Yes, that makes sense, because I tried to do it one time and could not get it in. So, here it goes. Ah, oh, oh. too far. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and 
And now we know why there's so many rocks up here. Can I just jump? Oh! oh. That didn't help. <laughs> Is it really that cold? No, I think... Um, oh, I just the fall hurt. I think I hit my head. <laughs> hmm. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> that's so frustrating. Yay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, we go. Good job. We'll there get to what is. that is later. Thank you. <laughs> it only took, what, eight or nine <laughs> yes. tosses? Oh, and there's a shrine right here. So these are really good for collecting those orbs from the monks. And then we were able to get things from those orbs, like additional hearts, and increase the amount of stamina we have in rings, the green rings. And with stamina, we were able to run further and climb farther up. Very, very helpful. Speaking of which, we should try to find a way to redeem those with the goddess. We forgot to oh, do that yeah, at the Temple of Time. Oh yeah, we did. The wind guides you, the Bashkala Shrine. So you can see the wind, and it guides us to a chest on the other side. Because we have the paraglider, All it right. works. <laughs> and Link's just gonna kick it. Give it to me. Amber! I'm contractually obligated to say it every time I see it. <laughs> and every time I see it, I get awkward. <laughs> <laughs> feels weird. So this air blows this way. There's other air that blows back this way. Oh, look at the wind in his hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> Love the detail. And so if we get out of the wind... <gasps> <Don't hurt. laughs> or if you don't land on this thing, you will fall to your death. <laughs> yes. As we just saw. <laughs> so this is a way... Back. I don't know why you would want to go back. Huh. Unless we missed something the first time around. Well, there is a chest up ahead, I'm aware of, but not a chest behind us. Hmm. So, we gotta get over there, and the monk is over here. That's the chest, and friends, this chest will kill you. Because it is so easy to fall to your death. Why are I'm, we doing this? I'm offloading everything on Link to make him a little bit lighter so that I can go f the distance to get Does to this chest. Does that actually work? I don't know, but it did the it other day. Makes, okay. I practiced this and I flew like six or seven times just short of the platform of the chest, <laughs> fell to my death. And then the one time I took everything off, I could. Huh. I mean, okay. heck, I should take my shirt off, but... Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on! Yes, oh my it goodness, you did it! The first time! Oh. Oh. And that is why I practice. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Goodness sake, that was amazing. We'll get rid of that rusty sword. Ooh, that's much better. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so how do you get off of this? Uh, oh, you can just glide can... down. Oh my goodness, this is scary. <laughs> <sighs> I'm startling you. Yes. I'm so well, sorry. you guys have to realize that this is all like up above a great height. That <laughs> just you just fall yeah, and fall look at and fall. That fantastic sword and sheath. Ooh, that's cool. Mm. Good stuff. We can go back to something more practical in the moment now. Actually, let's get rid of that pot lid next. <laughs> it's behaving as a shield. <sighs> Mr. Monk, you're going to kill me. <laughs> All right, so Amber, I'm going to hand the controller to you. We'll see if I can do anything silly to make us laugh this time. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been practicing a little bit this week, so hopefully it won't be quite as tragic as trying to get up the mountain. So it's going to be nighttime, isn't it? 
You'll want to probably yes. make camp right here. Just to avoid the monsters. What did that just say? Oh dear. Well, you didn't make camp. Told you to. But what'd you do? <laughs> no. Nope. You just I can't make camp screen. now too. <laughs> So it's presenting all these other missions and side just quests. Just suddenly, that we that's could very do. odd. I am surprised that just appeared. Hm. Oh, if I remember right, the reason they're appearing is because now that we're off of the Great Plateau and in this area, it triggers these additional side quests you can get from what's called the expansion packs. And they only come with the expansion packs, and they don't have anything to do with the Great Plateau. So I suppose they appear here because we're in the general area where those okay. uh, side quests from the expansion pack come from. That makes sense. So we grab a sword. You can't do it with wood. You have to use a... Metal. No, I'm going to drop this because there's this big boko bat. Okay. You got to make a campfire? Yes, and now... Why does it keep... Oh, you only have one. Oh, we need to Use get more wood. Use it wisely. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> now I need a sword. <laughs> you got two fires for one. It says let's need to pick up that weapon. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to take it. In the morning, you should begin heading eastward, crossing over the Proxim Bridge. There it is. Right here. Oh, there's a bird. Get the bird. Either one. I don't care. Food. Excellent. Oh, two of them that time. Nice. Sometimes they give you the whole bird, sometimes just one or two drumsticks. Yeah. Cross here. I love those mountain tops. Oh, they're so cool. There, you can tell the bridge has seen better days, too. But at least it's still travelable. Walkable. Let's see. Okay, we got another traveler here. Oh. Want to say hi? The end is here. The end is here? Is this guy oh. crazy? Brigo. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that... Well, let's just say it's badder than most. We're doomed. <laughs> I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. <laughs> by the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what that means, don't you? The end is here. <laughs> With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh, what thing? thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> an overturned urn? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a different one. Phew. That one was closer to the castle but before the forest. When they spot you... They shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. 
but I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Huh? Do you think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Totally. Hmm. <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. <laughs> All right, Brago. Calm down. Take the weekend off. <laughs> now, w truth is, uh, we never know. Another there guardian might come alive. But since Brigo is heading this way too, I doubt the one that Amber is approaching would. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Okay. Run, run, run. I don't want to go too far and make it, uh... Make me slow. Yeah, so this is the inside of the hollowed log. A massive tree. There used to be some huge trees here. Oh, these flowers are popping up. Ah! Look out for falling rocks. Just missed the flower. Oh. You passed a stemella mushroom. Oh, I did? In blue nightshades. I don't know if we got those yet. No. But if you use them in cooking some things up, they would give you some additional stealth. Oh. So the flower keeps on popping up. It's leading me on to something. I think I see it. It's on the right. Or, sorry, the left. There we are. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a Korok. Excellent. So now we have eight Korok seeds. All right. So let's get our bearings. Look ahead. You see that uh, orange glow. That is the tower of West Nekluda. So this region. We need to head that way. Guess I can paraglide off. Yeah. Of here. here we go. If you go into the trees, oh, birds on the right. Get one. Excellent. I'm See, not we're gonna super need the meat. Good at you just did a doing good job. it from the air like that, but so down in the trees here, there may be a monster. I don't know. Just saying. Well, there's Probably fire right there. Maybe it's a. I don't. I know there aren't moblins here, but there could be a traveler. Then again, there could just be nature. Nice, soft looks nature. Like the, looks like the path goes through. Nature's here. taking the day off, guys. Oh, there's a mushroom on the right. Yes. Up ahead, is that an it enemy? It does look like a bad guy camp. No, 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 no. It's not. That's a traveler. Oh. Go say hi. Yeah, Link is starving for socialization. <laughs> Who's <laughs> there? Yeah. Hi. You a traveler? Grab a spot by the fire if you like. I'm a traveling merchant. Name's Giro. Nice to meet ya. Crazy times we're living in, eh? I go into the forest all by my own to get my wares. Aww. But there are far safer ways to get them, such as buying them from travelers like you. So, do you happen to have anything rare that you're interested in selling? Well, if we cooked up our meat, we could sell the meat to him, but... Is there a cooking pot right here? There is! Yes, okay. Well, you better cook it first and then offer Say it to no, him. Say no, not really right now, and then we can come back. Well, okay, that's fine. If there's anything I can do for ya. Uh, yeah, see what he has for sale. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm proud of my wares, all of them. Please take a look. Except we can't buy mm, anything. We don't yet. have any money. So... The arrows wouldn't be oh, a bad. Maybe we thing. should at least try to get some arrows. Yeah, go ahead and cook the meat and then buy his arrows. Oh. Okay, got it. Thanks for spending some of your precious time on the road with me. <laughs> Even the areas near civilization are full of monsters these days. Just strolling through the woods can be dangerous. You be careful, you hear? Well, he's friendly in his own way. Crying shame about that haircut, but he's nice. 
Uh, meat is in the produce section. I know, but I need to light the fire? Uh, but... Drop the Korok leaf. Okay, because that's not really... <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, <scared>. Giro. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand Link's aggressive ways. Sorry. So, Let's cook see. that up as one meat skewer, and then... Cup pretty, up a second. That probably will be. I mean, it does look like Giro likes to eat. <laughs> he did look actually interested in. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Man, those meat skewers just look delectable. Should I try one more food thing? Mm, maybe not now. Just go okay. ahead and sell those. Get his arrows. Bye. I want to sell. Great. Let's see what you got. Oh, so it looks like we could actually sell anything to him but if we wanted raw to. raw goods would not get us as much money. Yeah. Oh, this gives us 160. That's... Of course, yeah, see, awesome. now rupees. That, in rupees, that's pretty good. That's like... Uh, oh, this is only 80, but still, that's... You could get a hundred and says he, uh, yeah, you could buy two warm doublets at a shop later on for that amount of money. You want to sell the seared meat, seared steaks? I want to eat the seared steaks. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Then press all of them. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, cool. Not We're bad. making money. All right, then buy his arrows. Okay. I want to buy ah. arrows always come in handy <laughs> good deal Ooh. nice doing business with you sir sorry I'm all out of that <laughs> <laughs> yeah we just bought them need anything else nope goodbye ah. okay see you next time maybe exchange your axe for this axe since yeah. you've worn yours out a little Actually, no, yours. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. The other axe is in still still good shape, but it never hurts. Hey there. Where are you planning on going with my axe? <laughs> well, you what? can have this other one, dude. <laughs> it's okay. You can have it. Sorry for hollering at you like that. <laughs> he's, he's kind of a cute <laughs> guy. It's just the times we live in. No one's going to get mad if you pick up something that's just lying around. If something is important to someone, they wouldn't let it out of their sight. Well, okay. Thanks, Gero. Oh, you know what? We can get rid of this, too. So the meat off of a bird or a goat would cook up enough food that would basically make the same amount of money when we try to sell it for rupees. Alright, so up ahead, there are some... Mm, spots in the waterfront. Looks like we're gonna have to cross. Yeah, but not here. Okay. Go further downstream. There's a place where I think you can get a Korok. Oh, okay. I think our. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up on the left. <laughs> the <laughs> Link's cloud. pot lid really cracks me I up. I know. Oh, get so oh. oh so many fish in one spot. Oops. Oh shoot. Oh, you want me to get the octorock for you? Yes. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Cause they're just pesty things. Oops, smart bite. Oh, I think you got it. No, I didn't. Oh, you got the top off of it, though. Dog. I got his radar detector. That's what I got. Oh. Wow. It's actually kind of surprising that those rocks don't hurt more. Okay, Mr. Octorok, you can stop now. Super annoying. Well, 
Well, your seared steak would have been handy right I now. I know. <laughs> it's okay. I know. <laughs> Thankfully, we have plenty of apples. Hey, you little snake. Ah, oh, okay. Come on, man. I don't want to waste my arrows. I know, that's a problem. Because yep. we could even cook up some of these. Uh... Uh, fish Let me dishes so we can there we go. sell them too if we need to. Totally. Oh, there's this the is what we right were looking there. at. Yeah, this is the Korok I was looking for. How many arrows do we have left? You so many and did not hit the guy. Alright, so we got the Korok path here across the water. So hopefully we're out of range of the Octorok. And get over to the next flower. And we could swim, but this current looks a little uh Oh, I got a fit. Oh, oh frog. frog. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. There he is. There we go. There you go, Amber. Thanks. Take the control back. Thank you, Mr. Korok, for another seed. I guess we go straight up to... Collect them all. Yeah, so... So it says it's only 2 p.m., but it's, uh... Overcast. It dark. It looks like rainy weather. But no rain in the forecast. That's nice. Yeah. Dueling Peaks Tower. All right. <laughs> All these towers, I think, are about the same height. Well, most of them. I think oh, there are some exceptions. Oh, I hadn't really thought about that, I guess. There, there's like an average height to a tower. And then there's a couple of exceptions. You're on the back side of it. Oh, and now you're on the front side of it. Oh, funny. Sheikah Tower activated. Mm, behold. is our second tower. Scanning the area. And that is a wow. nice chunk of the map. The best part of getting towers. <laughs> Regional map extracted. So this is the West Nakluta region. Obviously, this portion that's East Nakluta is still not visible over on the right. And you can see us there in the middle with the... Continue. Sheikah Slate updated. Additional functionality detected. Hmm. Sheikah Sensor. Searching oh. for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. Sheikah sensor acquired. You can enable or disable the Sheikah sensor with Y on the map screen. Hmm. So that little bing that you just heard is really helpful but can get really old. Sometimes yeah. we'll turn it on, sometimes we'll have it off. But just to illustrate, let's keep it on for okay. now sure. while we head to the next shrine. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in the direction with the strongest signal. Okay, thank you, Mr. So, like Tower. So, if I go this way, and like if I walk that way, it gets quieter. Uh, ah, yeah. If I go this way. Oh, yeah, exactly. So you pick up the bing if you walk in the direction it's in. So head to that 
cliff face. And there's an ore deposit like we saw on the stone talus in the last part. This one being up on the oh, side dear. of the mountain. Do you know the trick to getting these? I have to jump and do it. Yeah. Jump and swing. <laughs> okay. Come on. That doesn't work. <laughs> Ew, he keeps wanting to climb. There! Good job. You get two for the price of one. Nice. But you, that three swings, I guess that was more like... <laughs> yeah, going now we get the, the Sheikah sensor going berserk because we're getting closer in the direction of a... Oh, Sapphire. Sheikah Shrine. And again, there is a good use for these shrines, folks. We promise. You get all the orbs together, you are able to get more hearts, you're able to make your stamina wheel bigger. It's really important. Yes. And then... there. I mean, we can also move be between them briefly. Oh yeah, so we haven't done that very much, but once you've discovered a Sheikah sensor, or a, a shrine, and you've activated its pedestal, then you can teleport to that location. Yeah. So they become very handy when you need to get around the map quick, quicker. Yeah, if you've noticed all this time, we've got to go on foot. And we will get a horse pretty soon. But we're not quite yet to the horse range. I wonder how they the make it. The Dahi Shrine. That's an interesting name. Got this one? Think you got I think it? so. Oh, yeah? I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm sure. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I have faith in you. <laughs> so unlike the shrines on the Great Plateau, you should and can use any and all of your Sheikah Slate's abilities, like the Cryonis and Magnesis, but they don't always require them. Sometimes you have to solve puzzles with Link's body weight, like we just did there. Oh, I was like, well, okay, so... Oh. There's the traveling platform. Get on it, get on it! Because it'll go without me if I don't. I don't think I need to go up there, do I? No, nope. not to my knowledge. I don't think anything's okay. there. It was just interesting because there's that staircase there. That platform was where the ball originated yeah. in the first. Piece I know, of the but puzzle. there's a staircase up there to it from here. Mm. So I wasn't sure. So I think I have to step on this and then get over to that. Oops. Well, so the ball is moving, oh. but you gotta give it enough time to go down, but not enough to fall off oh, there. Like that. Yeah. It'll reload. Get off. Phew, good timing. Get on that platform. Cause it'll make this move. Very good. I still don't <laughs> love the heights here. Uh Okay, so another ball thing like this. And now. Good oh, job. First good try. Oh. <laughs> I almost jumped onto it right as it left, which would have been very bad. Come to me. Ah. Walk and chew gum at the same time. Or push buttons on the controller at the same time. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so, th okay, so th this is a shrine where it has a perplexing situation. I really don't understand how they expect you to get to that chest. You can't use any of the runes, because it's not made of metal. You can't bring it to you. And there's not a way for you to fly up to it. But well, what about going up on the platform up there? Can mm -hmm. you make it down there from there? That is the only way to do it, but it is so risky. <laughs> so let, do you want to give it may a I shot? Demonstrate? Yeah. Okay. 
So I don't know who designed this shrine, and I've <laughs> seen other players try to solve it. There's these barrels down here that you can grab oh. with magnesis. And then stand on it, maybe? I have tried that, and I promise you it doesn't work. But why are they it's there? It's just That's so, so bizarre. confusing. Yeah, and there's a ladder over here. So if I take the ladder and go down... What what are these there's for? There's barrels. And then this means to get here to the ball. And then the thing stops working, but that doesn't solve anything. And then we get the metal chests and... What, what do you do with it? Like, I want to get to that... I want to get that chest over there. And... That is bizarre. I, I, I can't do anything with it. So... If we put the barrel here and go up, it's just a puzzle that puzzles me. See, if like Link tries to get on it, you can't even get. He on can it. actually, but it's not easy. Moving away from the edge. Ah, see? So why bother? So I just give up. <laughs> use the technique where we... Don't hold anything. Don't hold anything. And try my best to run and jump and get on there without falling. But if we fall, they give us grace in the game where if Link falls to what should be his death, it doesn't game over unless you run out of hearts. So, I don't know, should we say that it counts as a death against us? No, I don't think I think so, because this is... All right. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, you oh. did it! <laughs> See? <laughs> and I've tried that so many times well, with all my gear on, and it didn't work the first time. Oh, the climber's bandana. Yeah, climber's nice. bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. Very but important. But that is hard because that lamp right there yes. is on that corner. So even if you do get there, that lamp could be in the way. Okay, so let's do this in our new bandana. <laughs> I think it's kind of dorky. <laughs> I don't disagree. <laughs> it shows Link's big ears a little bit better. Alright, and handing the control back to you, darling. Thank you. Oh, it's night again. Okay, man, every time I... Oh, we don't have any wood! Well, we don't have to worry about it anyway. Okay. If we'll just we fly continue on, I think we should be okay as long as you avoid those monsters yes. in the river. Fly past them. Oh. There's a place you can bomb here for a treasure chest, I think. <laughs> don't walk towards the monsters, Amber. Oh. Run. Is this too close? Traveler's bow. Good. Wait, but we... We actually have a good stash of traveler's bows. Although, this, this used, one's been yeah. used, so let's just get rid of that one and... Get a fresh one. So, there is another shrine, not very far away. Hopefully make it there oh, without there's monsters. The so, there's another ridge here you'll want to climb up on. Okay. And there's Bo Coblin over there, so we're gonna skirt past their camp. Look oh, at you. Okay, now we need to look down at them all sleeping, because I think they look so funny. <laughs> They're blowing bubbles. <laughs> anyway, I just think they're kind of funny. Alright. So, 
there's briars all around the entrance to the shrine. The only way to get there is to paraglide down onto oh, its platform. About that. <laughs> oh, that's not hard. Except <laughs> I don't want to land on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you try to walk into those, you'll just get yourself poked left and right. The water guides. Huh. Ha da ha mar shrine. Okay. So we need to make some ice blocks with water. Do we go up up here or on the just down below us? Up above you gotta go up. Oh the here, platforms. why didn't you do this one? I don't I don't like You don't like Ryonis? Actually, get those mixed up. Yeah, it's tricky. Let's see here. Because there's a platform above us, I was just assuming that there might have been something up there, but... I think it's easier to get to from over here. Oh. And so you can even attach them to the side of the walls. Like waterfalls running down. And you can only have three of these at a time. If you don't do it right, it could push you off the block. Yeah. A purple rupee is worth 50 green rupees. Oh, nice. That gives us some monies. And now, for the test. Oh, yes. So there is a... Large orb falling down, a cascading wall of water, and we have to get the orb down, there, down right? into the basin. So, we want that, and we want that. Nope. Oh, we need one underneath it. Yeah. Two. No. And there. There we go. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> All right. And I'll hand the controller back to you. Raining, okay. So oh, we well, want to head for the things stable. are gone too, so Yes. That's nice so we made it cross. They're there until you beat the shrine. Uh, and then don't have to worry about them again. There's a man running around. Dueling Peak Stable. Oh, Our it's a first stable. stable, and it looks like oh, a horse on top. Yes. <laughs> Love it. With like uh cloth and just odds and ends to make a horse's head. It's awesome. And inside, there's sort of a place to sleep, a place to stay, hang out for the travelers. The innkeeper. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk to the man with a great big sack oh, on his yes. back. Oh, he's asleep. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle. You can call me. Well, actually. Let's just stick with Beetle. <laughs> but even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle shaped backpack. Despite these wow. dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock my special bugs and must have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price. Or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> well, he just said that his name wasn't Beetle, but we. Or, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Oh, that's helpful. Sa, sa. How can I help you today? Should we see what he's got? Yes. Maybe <laughs> some arrows? I'm sure uh -huh. I have something that you'll find useful. Please have a good look. Let's well, buy the bundles, the five. Well, Those are need... cheaper. I know, but we, I thought we should take all of them. 
Hmm. I don't want to buy all of them just yet. Okay, I'll just say we'll take one and then we'll. Thank you for your constant patronage. <laughs> well, I mean, this is our first transaction, Beetle. Yes, uh, constant. <laughs> Thanks for the business. Did you need anything else? Should mm. we see if we can sell him any of our gems, maybe? Mm, yeah, 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 that's not a bad idea. Oh. What would you like for to sell? See. Well, first of all. Organize it all, yes. So these are 30 each. Opals. Those are 60 each. Rubies. Oh, wow. Those are 210. Excellent. 260? Well, I say yeah. Sell, sell maybe like, one sapphire, one ruby, a couple of opal, and a handful of our embers. Okay. Wow! So we're going to be using this money to gather more supplies. Not necessarily from this guy. <laughs> Should we do all of these? No. Nah, or how just about two? two? Of them. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> He's so disappointed to see you. Oh, I so anything. There. No beetle, not one, but two. Oh, yes. So maybe like four or five? Yeah. One hundred and fifty rupees. Yay! Not bad. Good oh, we almost have start. a thousand. Don't hesitate to sell me things. Well, we need to hold on to everything else for now. Oops, yeah. <gasps> Thanks so much, Beetle. I know. We couldn't sell you everything we have today. <laughs> we do want some of it. <laughs> All right, so the next objective, we need to get a horse. Take okay. advantage of a stable. We should sleep first. To avoid the rain. Oh. It's almost morning, I guess. I guess we don't need to sleep. I thought it was at I thought it was first thing in the evening. So. Ah. We can walk around and see what's yeah, out here. Yeah, gather any of these free resources out here. We got apples, oh, a pitchfork, more bundles of wood. Oh, we need wood. There's a torch? Don't need that, no. though. So I have a thought about the dog. Can I show you something with sure. him? Sure. Where is he? So, I have heard that if you give them treats, that they will lead you to a hidden treasure chest. And I just wanted to see if we could make that work for us. Oh, he missed it, but he thinks he's eating it. Oh, he did! Oh, cool. Well, you gonna show me? He moved. Interested. Hmm. Maybe he wants something else. Ooh, that makes him happy. But he didn't get hearts. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not interested in mushrooms. I thought for sure he would love the meat. On, dog. <laughs> oh, now he's ready. Okay, now we know okay. how much it takes. It takes a couple of drumsticks and a few apples. Oh, there's a chest <gasps> right in plain sight. Okay. I've never seen that. 
How did that happen? I didn't either. Oh my word. Thank you, dog. <laughs> That's funny. A hundred rupees. Oh. Okay, that's great. a fair exchange for a few apples and two drumsticks. Thank you. Wish I could give you a belly rub. <laughs> now we gotta find ourselves a horse. Actually, it's kind of a cool look. So we gotta see if we spy horses. <gasps> oh. Speak of horses. Okay. Do we eat the food now? We'll see how long the stealth is. Five and a half minutes. Oh, Seems yeah. good. So I'm going to save here so that we can retry if we have to. All right, Link. You're I always ready. love how he pats his tummy when he's done. So we're sneaking up onto them and trying to catch one in the wild. And he'll need to jump on. No! <laughs> that was bad the timing! Monster spooked him. They'll have to jump up onto their back <laughs> and then soothe them. Good timing. Did I soothe them at all? I don't know, but eat that fast. He's clicking. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. That was why. Oh. Oh. Oh no. no. Well. There's a mushroom. <laughs> Wonder if he'll come back. Well, he'll have. He's to, coming back this way. But he will avoid me. <laughs> Drat. Oh my word. It's feisty. There. Excellent. Good boy. Girl. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should check. <laughs> oh, look oh, at all those a good spurs. One. So the spurs mean that you can spur it on to go faster. But you have to have a greater bond with your horse. And that's why I'm patting him. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah, so at first they they act wild, so they don't react well to your commands. But after soothing them enough and getting a better bond with them, they start behaving. Now we go over quicker. here to the stable to register the horse and get a saddle. Hi. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horses related. We also double as an inn. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Uh. I don't. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. So what will it be? Uh, we're going to register the horse. Gotcha. <laughs> Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> we're right here on a horse. So we got a new horse. We got to give it a name. Are you sure huh. that this is the one? <laughs> yeah. His That's strength's not great, but his speed's okay. And his stamina is much better. It's a wild temperament. Yeah, the bond is at 11 out of 100. We got to keep bonding. So what do we call her? Hmm. I think it's a her. Yeah, it looks like a her. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Yes. Oh. Thanks. Please enter a name for your horse. Oh. Um, let me think here. What's a good... She has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Like gold hair. And blue eyes. I'm All kidding. Or goldie. That's what I was thinking. Goldie? Oh. I don't know. It seems 
What's a generic. Little, what would be something pertaining to gold that's a little bit more rustic? Um, <laughs> the name Sassafras popped into my head, and I don't know why. <laughs> that was very weird <laughs> and random. We're trying too hard. Let's get out of a, a thesaurus. Uh, um, pretty pie. That's actually really good. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, we, we figured it out. Let's see, we're gonna go with Pretty Pie. Oh. Are you sure you want to name this horse Pretty Pie? That's cute. Yep. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Take the horse. Oh. Thank you. We'll see you next time. <sighs> oh, and by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. All right, we got a new command to whistle. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. All right. Okay, so you have to Thanks, whistle. Thanks, Tassaran. I don't know if you noticed, but those two men are identical. Yeah. <laughs> what if they're like Tassaran. brothers or something? And who's this guy? Hey. Rensa, welcome to Dolan Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the dueling peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So, where are you heading? Both Kakariko Village and Hateno Village are nearby. We're heading to Kakariko Village. That was where the king said to go. Oh, yeah. Uh. Kakariko Village is the village where the Sheikah clan lives. Mm. It said that some time ago, they had advanced technologies that were more powerful than anything anyone had seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find the big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path and you'll come to the Kakariko village gate. Leave it to Rensa to tell you all about the roads around this area. Well, thanks there, man. We needed to know that because we're heading to Kakariko yeah. Village. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and that. give Pretty Pie her first meal. Oh, yes. Here you go, girl. I'll make her like us more. Enjoy the apples. <laughs> oh, there's Beetle outside. Yeah. Beetle, check out my horse. Bye, Beetle. All right. So we are nearing the end of this part. We have one more mission to do on the way to Kakariko Village. Yeah, riding a horse now feels second nature. Oh, see how he's a little feisty, though? Yeah. He still is like, I don't want to know about this. I don't hey, want to be told where to go. We just agree that it's a she. Oh, she is. That's right. Pretty pie he, definitely she. sounds like a They're girl. They're not the same things, you know. Oh. 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 Alright, I, I think that there might be a place over here we would check out because, you know, travelers like to hang out under bridges. Oh. And... Sometimes they leave stuff behind. Roasted bass. Why you would leave your food behind and it didn't rot, I don't know. Oh, excellent. Oh, not only are there rupees, Blue rupees but there's... Blue rupees are worth five green rupees. It's like five dollars. Oh, nice. Those are... Ice arrows are going to be very helpful. Ah. Oh, Mr. Octorok is back. Came back for another round. Do we have any more? <laughs> I we don't know. We're out. <laughs> oh. Oh, we oh. did it. See, that's not fair. I did that. <laughs> on the wall. And I fell. Oh, right. see, there you Pretty go. pie. Come on, girl. Let's whistle for her and she can rain. That's right. You'll get used to it, girl. She's like, I don't wanna! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like there might be some things oh. right over here. Is there stuff right there? 
blue night shades. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Amaranth. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooking into a dish. They almost look like artichokes. Oh. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Pretty pie, you didn't notice the creature here? That is a <laughs> huge Korok. Oh my goodness. I love it. Shalika. Shalika? <laughs> you? You can see me? <laughs> I Do I want to admit I can see him? <laughs> I can't see you. Shalika? Then how are you talking to me, silly boy? <laughs> Shalaza! Shalaza! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. Yeah. I'm Hastu, and I need your help. Yeah. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still there in the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. Shako. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Right, okay. Sir? The priceless maracas. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Stu. All right. Anything for you, buddy. I don't know why, but anything for you. Yeah. Blue ones. They look... Oh. If you don't remember... <gasps> The red ones are the weakest of the variety. The blue ones are a little bit harder to kill because they do have more health. Let's see. Let's go with a good claymore. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And they're all like, wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, don't pitch my edge. Ah! Oh, oh no, dirty! He hit it back at he you. It. That is crazy. I better eat something. Oh, we broke the pitchfork. Well, it started good. <laughs> and it finished well. Yes, it worked. <laughs> but they definitely are a little tougher than the... Hey, Stu, better appreciate that. If his maracas are even here. I hope they're in there. Hastu's hey, maracas. Hastu's hey, beloved maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. <laughs> I did not two know Two years this. old? Alright. Back to Hastu. Hey, Shall I call her? Those are... Those are my maracas. Please give them to me. <laughs> La <laughs> That's so funny. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko. I think we could help that. <laughs> if I had if I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Hey, hey, Stu, my man. We have, we some. have some Korok seeds. Let's do it. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved Maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. She'll come. <laughs> But wait, do you have a Korok seed? 
You do? You gotta grow Korok seed from one of the children of the forest. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Weapons stash? Oh yeah! Shaki Shaka! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Now we can hold da, more na, weapons. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Your weapon stash has been expanded. Shalaka. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory again? Uh, yeah. Bow stash? Oh, yeah. Shaky Shaka. Okay, his maracas are green this time. Oh. <laughs> Glitter everywhere. And now we can hold six bows. Da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> Your bow stash has been expanded, Shalaka. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Shako! <laughs> Sorry I have to go, but I still need more seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Okay. We can do that. Thank you there. Alright. And it is back to nighttime. Pretty Pie. Come on, girl. Huh? Let's go. Kakariko oh, Village. And that wraps up everything for part three of the Breath of the Wild walkthrough. Hope you'll join us for our next video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have a comment or question, drop it in the comments section. God bless and we'll see you soon. Cheers.